Dude, we didn't even tell anyone that uh, Larry the Cable Guy was here. Yeah, I know. How could you guys not promote that? He's not, I, doing think arenas. He, I think he's the biggest star we've had on XM Satellite Radio since getting here. There he is. You are the biggest star we've had on XM Satellite Radio thus far. Good Lord. You, Larry the Cable hurt. Guy. <laughs> Y'all hurt. If I'm the biggest star you ever had on here, there's something wrong. <laughs> Good Lord. What's going on, fellas? Hey, you, Hanging. You didn't, you didn't call us yesterday from a truck, did you? Uh, no, I don't think right. I did. <laughs> it's the same voice we heard yesterday. It sounded phone. like it. I got a truck, but I don't think I called you from it. Uh, Larry, we, we got to tell you, we're um, we're we're new to talking to the whole country. Like right. we were syndicated on regular radio on the East Coast, and a few basically we were syndicated to the blue states. Okay, and now we're syndicated to uh, the entire country, and we're trying to. We're trying to get used to the uh, the southern voice and the truckers and all that. Yeah, you know what? It takes it's kind of foreign to us. It takes a while to get used to Now, I got a buddy of mine don't even move his lips when he talks. <laughs> and you're always like, hey, you want to go up to the store? He's like, no, I don't get it. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> My dad heard that. He was laughing. I'd done that joke one time. My dad thinks that's there. He'd come up to me. He's like, man, there you go. Jimmy Norton, good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Good yeah, Lord, he's a funny. You got screwed on that damn what the last comic stand? Last comic stand, and we were watching that. Ah, uh, they were okay. I, you know what? I had an MTV contract, and I kind of I signed already. So NBC was cool. We kind of knew that was happening. Well, I, I always thought it should have been because it, you know, that's so political. That shit. Cause I'm watching. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they got the black guy. They got the white guy. They got the Oriental guy. They got the you know that should have been. They should have changed the name to Last Demographic Stand, and that's what they should have <laughs> changed it to. You know, if you're a white guy on there, you ain't got a chance. <laughs> no, you're right, and uh, I don't think I would have went very far. I probably would have got booted the first or second round. Cause... Thank God you didn't have a retard on there. You know you'd have been beat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> his name is Rich Voss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Voss, he's funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm not him before. He's, he's funny. funny. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't the... get used to the accent ever, man. Yeah, we got a lot of truckers that call up now. A lot of truckers, and... They love to talk. Boy, I'll tell you what, those, love hey, I'll tell you what, they got them satellite radios. They too, sure boy. do. They they got that's why satellite. we're trying to be oh, really yeah. nice to the truckers. Oh, the truckers are good folks, I'll tell you what. But they don't shut up. They <laughs> just keep going. You, you know, you figure, get, get what you got to say out, and then it always ends with, all right, thanks, guys, one more thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here they're, they're kind of lonely out there. It ain't got much else. <laughs> they're just lonely, and they want to talk. Hey, I went on. I forget what I did, but I was I did some interview somewhere, but they were syndicated their show on XM, and uh, I think it was the Trucking Bozo. He's on XM. Oh, oh right. we yeah, heard about yeah. that guy. Yes, we did. And he's great. I love the Trucking Bozo. I go on Trucking Bozo. I'm supposed to do like 20 minutes with him. I end up staying with the guy. He, I went to the studio at like midnight, you know. I end up staying with him before 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I did a show in Dayton, Ohio. The next night, seven big rigs showed up. They were in the area, and they heard it, and seven big rigs showed up to the show, just wow. parked out there in the parking lot. <laughs> Fucked it up so no one else could park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There were seven only, people in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, yeah, there was only seven people, but them truckers had to get down. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do any hunting? I see you got the camo you on. You know what? I went bird hunting a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't get nothing. No? no? I don't think I'm throwing the dogs up high enough. <laughs> but uh, I got in trouble in Montana. I shot an elk. Yeah, at the Elks Lodge, <laughs> and uh, they didn't take right to that either. So, <laughs> gotta watch out for those Asians now when you're hunting. Oh Sorry. my God, Can that you... guy up there, Ooh. the Asian guy in Wisconsin that uh, took out six hunters. Yeah, you believe that? Mm. Yeah, seems there was a. Who knew there was a problem up there? <laughs> they had some Asian hunter like battle that's been going on for uh, years apparently. Well, that's great. Well, I guess that, that happened six miles from my girlfriend's yeah. hometown. And she was kind of scared because her brother, her dad, and five of their buddies all went to their private land hunting camp up there. And I called her and I said, hey, did you hear about that? And she goes, no way. So she hung up real quick, called make sure everything was fine. But, I mean, that's crazy. A bunch of good old boys get jumped by uh, an Asian, one Asian guy. Well, look, next time you're going through the woods and you see an Asian guy in a deer stand wearing the wrong kind of a camo and a SKS assault rifle, <laughs> get the hell out of there. The only thing an Asian should be doing in the woods is massaging you and jerking you off. <laughs> Behind a tree. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I got no problems with Larry's that. Larry's with you, Jim. He's with you. <laughs> I went up there for Thanksgiving, and uh, by the way, I ate too much. I'm starting to have to buy relaxed fit condoms. <laughs> At least I'm gaining it in the right places, right? 
But I go up there, and my sister-in-law's up there, and she just got all them piercings down, you know, yeah. in the area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And y'all can tell when she's coming, you know, because she always wears a skirt. And she's got a, it sounds like a wind chime <laughs> headed your way. But she got a damn bolt in her, you know. And she's showing people at the damn Thanksgiving. She's walking around. Hey, check this out. You rip her breasts. And I'm like, well, man, pull your pants up. It looks like a BB stuck in a taffy puller. Good Lord. That's ruining my damn dinner right there. It's insane. But I don't know if any of them truckers, if you're down through uh, southern Alabama, I forget what town I was going through, but I was on my way home one time. And this true story, I come across a school called Hank Williams Junior High School. <laughs> and I got to thinking, is that Hank Williams Junior High School yeah. or Hank Williams Junior High School? High school. <laughs> so I was talking to some people. It doesn't matter. Nobody graduated from either one of them. <laughs> so I guess it was no big deal. You've got a lot of fans calling in already. Uh, I tell you what, I love uh, I love uh, XM. I love satellite. I, them truckers, I love them to death, I'll tell you. I wanted to be, when I was a kid, I grew up on a pig farm. Mm-hmm. In, believe it or not, southeast up. Nebraska. But I moved to Florida way back in 70, back when I was 15. That's where I picked all my accent up and everything. If you've ever been to Florida, people go, Florida don't got... Well, oh, yeah, you they go, do. You go to Central Florida, North Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you they got, got something it. going that's on. Just that's just southern Georgia. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to be a... I want. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to drive a, a damn cattle truck. I wanted to drive a pot belly cattle, cattle truck. I wanted to drive a pot belly cattle truck when I was a kid. The stinkiest trucks on the road. Oh, I love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Let's say hi to Mike in... Um, Big farm. Uh, <laughs> Mike in Oklahoma City. What's up, Mike? Hey, what's going on there, M80 hair, Wrangler, Bart Tent Lips? All right, wait, well, that's uh, Ben. <laughs> Who's Wrangler is uh, Ant, and I'm Bird Vag Lips? Yeah. All right. Oh, not bad. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> old big old Larry the Cable Guy, we're out here getting it done in a camel truck. What's up, Bubba? Hey, are you at, Bubba? Get it in. Oh, hey. You're good. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. One, when are you supposed to get down here to Oklahoma City again? I'm in Oklahoma City, I believe, in January. Are you, what, down there at, uh, oh, hell, I can't think of the name of that club down in Bricktown? No, I'm at the theater there. I'm at the arena, the Coliseum. Yeah, he's playing oh, arenas now, bro. Yeah, I'll be at the Coliseum. Anymore. They don't play I, clubs anymore. I just had a question for you on the uh, TV show that y'all got with Foxworthy and uh and, Yes, sir. and uh, I apologize about that for being funnier than them two guys. What's that? <laughs> the question I had uh, is that uh, skit y'all did about uh, the chewed-up pre-chewed food or whatever. Yes, sir. Who the hell's idea was that? That but, fucking gross. Oh, you got to explain. I saw, that was that was hilarious, actually. Oh, you got to explain it for the people that didn't see well, it. Well, I'm going to tell you. They did a sketch, and I was gone that day, uh, and I came back, and they were showing some of the sketches that, they, that they'd done. And they ran that one back, and I was like, man, that's kind of gross. What it is is pre-chewed food was a sketch they did where... Uh-huh. The sketch was, yeah, are you yeah. taking too much time eating your food? Well, our creators here, and it just shows this factory line of people chewing food and spitting it in the glasses, and then they package it. So you ain't got to oh, chew man. the food, you just suck it through a straw. And so they're going, you get apple pie, and it, it looks like vomit that they're pouring out. And, that was the bad part about it, because I was sitting there eating some of my wife's spaghetti and meatballs, and I just about lost it right there. Well, the well I got to tell you, I said, and you can ask my buddy that's with me, I said, look, that's too gross. We cannot air it. I think that's too gross to air. And so what we did was we ran it back for the crowd, and Jeff goes, well, I'm going to ask the crowd. And he goes, listen, here's a bit we did. It's up to the audience. If you think we should air it, then you'd let us know. And they said, air it, air it. Of course. Of course, it was all a bunch of college kids. They yeah, don't, yeah. They don't shit. I think we should do that on the show for my fight. I got one more super quick question for uh, Larry. You guys are never quick in Oklahoma City. (laughs) Who are you kidding? Yeah, you know what? You know what Tulsa spelled backward is? Asshole. No, a slut. (laughs) You know, you know what? You know what? You know what a slut backward is? Hundred (laughs) dollars. Hey, Larry, uh, you know what noodling is, right? A noodling? Yeah. Yes, sir. What is it? Explain it to them guys. I'm out. You guys have a good day. All right, thank you. What, what is what is that? Well, from what I understand, noodling, uh, I think noodling isn't noodling sticking your tongue in the butthole or something. <laughs> 
I don't know. <laughs> that's what I'm I. Not sure. That's sure. Jim, what I, that's what I thought it was. Jim, no. you're an expert on that. No, I would call that dinner prep. No, I think noodling uh. is uh, drunk sex. No. I don't know. See, I've, I've heard never heard the type. I never did it. See, now I thought that was tossing salads, but so right. I, I, I've salad. heard the tossing the salads. Somebody salad told thing. me it was noodling. I know there's different terms for different things all across. Yeah. The but that's what I heard it was. I'm probably dead wrong on it. But. All right, eat mass. Uh, Tim in Jersey. Tim, what's up? Hey, what's going on? We're Excuse hanging me. with Larry the Cable Guy. He's doing the Foxworth uh, Foxworthy roast tonight. Yep. Oh, excellent. Hammerstein Ballroom. Larry, can you do a couple analogies? I heard them the other day, and I was laughing my balls off. Oh, yeah, sure. I was uh, uh, more frustrated than a pervert with palsy trying to draw a vagina on an etch a sketch <laughs> Matter than Jesse Jackson at the airport having to answer the white courtesy phone. <laughs> Tripping and stumbling like Ray Charles walking through a pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> I was going down like Barney Frank in a cheap motel. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I like that. <laughs> Matter than a legless Ethiopian watching a donut roll down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of them. Uh, hey, Matter than an Amish electrician. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now the truckers are coming out of the woodwork. Oh, I love the truckers. Roy, what's up? You know what uh, noodling is? Yeah, it's where you go uh, catfishing with, uh, with your hands. You catch them with your hands. Oh, see, I thought he was being dirty, see? That, yeah. But when it, it, well, we used to go to Nemaha River, and we used to go down there and punch them. You go down there, and you and those big catfish. Now, now, tell me if you've heard of this. What's his name? Uh, Roy. Roy? Roy. Yeah. Now, that new, that's when you go down in the river, and you punch your hand in the, in the catfish mouth and bring up the catfish. Is that not noodling? Uh, I don't know if it's legal or not. I guess in some places it's not legal, but... It doesn't matter if it's legal. Is that what uh, noodling is, where you punch the yeah, catfish? Yeah, that's what noodling is, yeah. It really is? Yeah, they build these boxes and sink them down in the river, and I guess the catfish is laying in them boxes and wait for food to come to them. Well, then the, these guys go back to those boxes, stick their hand in there, and catch the catfish. Yeah, but that, huh. that we just called that punching catfish. Just punching catfish. <laughs> See, I had heard that noodling was leaking some don't girl. Don't need a name for it. I heard it was. Well, Put a little noodle in and then go out and punch some catfish. But. Maybe it's licking a catfish in butt. I was going to say that's a lot different than licking ass. I got I got both of them mixed up. Yeah, that's a lot different than licking ass. <laughs> Playing with an ass, punching a catfish, it doesn't matter. Your fingers smell the same. <laughs> 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 they really do. Either way, it looks like you got out of the WNBA locker room. <laughs> oh, good Lord. We just had some trouble here recently. Uh, uh, my neighbor come over. He's all upset. Apparently, his uh, uh, nephew just got kicked out of school down there in Florida for having sex with his 10th grade teacher. Uh -huh. And the funny part is he's homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, Larry. 